about radio. Hi guys, this is a mechanism that I've designed and built and it's to allow me to use an ordinary domestic radio tuning capacitor as part of an antenna tuning unit. What I set out to achieve was to have a motor drive unit that didn't require any limit switches, stepper motors or complicated gears. I wanted to be able to use a low voltage, low RPM DC motor as the drive mechanism without any of the complications uh, that uh, every other design seems to have. And this is what I've come up with. Like most of the designs and inventions that I've uh, made over the last th 30 or 40 years, uh, this project started out with a little cardboard model. I will give the uh, dimensions in uh, another video which I'll make shortly. It's now the uh, 21st of November 2012 and uh, I, I should get on to the next video in a couple of days. What I can tell you is you cannot just guess the dimensions of these three arms. It's uh, deceptively complicated and um, if you get it wrong then it simply will not work and uh, there's more chance to get it wrong than there is to get it right. Um, I will use this uh, antenna tuner on all sorts of projects that I'm working on, antenna projects. Uh, I guess you could also use it to swing a little um, security camera through uh, um, well as many degrees as you like but uh, in this case I'm going up to about 140 150 degrees if you try to achieve the full 180 degrees then uh, you will get into trouble and the, the device will destroy itself or, or lock up anyway um, so um, do look in the uh, description box because I will put links to other videos um, those that I've made before and others that I will make I'll come back to this video and update the comments box and um, I'll also tell you where I get the motors from and stuff like that so anyway I hope you find this uh, a helpful project um, and I hope some of you actually set to and make it uh, I intend to use this to um, establish the capacitance of things like gamma matches and uh, omega matches on the uh, beam antennas that I'm making and then uh, once I've uh, been able to get the SWR sorted out with the antenna up in the air then I can simply bring it down, measure the capacitance and uh, make a capacitor, a fixed capacitor that stays with that antenna Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.